I'm 18. I don't know what I want to do with my life, but I want to be prepared. So I'm getting IC3 certified. I'm working at Rival Boxing Gear, which is an awesome experience. But my goal right now is to be a network administrator. And right now I'm just pursuing every step of the way to get to it. And it's these simple things that we just blow by like, oh, I know how to do that. So we sit down from the computer and the keyboard and we're like, oh, we don't know how to do that. Students coming in now, they think that Facebook, they think Twitter, they think email makes them computer savvy. And they don't know what they think they know. And when you're coming into school as a freshman, I think it's a really big wake up call. A lot of them start floundering fast. So it's up to you, the researcher, to make sure that things are valid. To me, IC3 covers a very broad range of digital literacy skills. I want to make sure that when our students leave, they've got something that says, I am digitally literate, and now they're walking out with something that says, I have a certification. And our priorities are for industry and career readiness. That's why we look at industry-recognized certification, like IC3 that core set of skills that we build everything else Go upon. ahead and sign on to yahoo.com. There's very few things in college that you could sell to students where you could say, this is going to have an immediate benefit today and tomorrow, and then two years down the road and four years down the road. Do you know what we mean when we say ethernet? Um, not really. IC3 helps you in many areas of technology to establish a baseline of understanding from which you can continue to grow. IC3 says you can troubleshoot when it comes to computing applications. IC3 says that you can create something from nothing. IC3 says that you are ready to hit the ground running. Being digitally literate is in fact knowing the backbone, being able to fix things, being able to understand how things work. The IC3 certification is good at being able to tell people that you do in fact know what you're doing. I want to prove to people that I know about the computers and I actually know how to do the things that I used to say that I used to be able to do. I was a liar before. I'm not anymore, though. <laughs> it worked out here because we didn't have an IT technician and they, um, they found out that I actually knew how to do a little bit of a few things. And I also work on the network here and the printers and all the entry-level stuff. It's, it's scary, but you got to have something underneath your belt and that's why I'm taking IC3.